Hi guys, Yao G here. Here's hoping your day's been a good one so far, and welcome to finally to part five of our Yao Plays Zelda Breath of the Wild kind of first look. Apologies for not having this episode up yesterday. I simply ran out of time for editing, but if you remember rightly, in the last episode we finally got hold of our really nice looking sort of warm double tunic thing here that's going to keep us warm in the frosty weather as we head up to that shrine right there. That's the first of the two remaining shrines that we've got left and, I'm, and it's basically going to unlock all the special powers that the Sheikah Slate is going to be able to hold. I think it's six in total. I'm just going to try and take these dudes out and see what goodies we can get here because I'm running a little bit low on weapons if I'm honest and I would like to get some more arrows but it doesn't look like these guys got any. Well I'm not about to follow him down there. That's for sure. <laughs> I guess we could just take this meat while we're here then. So not much to be had around a Z campfire. Hmm. So let's head on over to the shrine. Up into the mountains. And i got to tell you guys, pretty funny. All the trouble I had trying to hunt out a warthog or a pig or whatever you want to call it. I should have just gave the controller to my seven-year-old kid, honestly. She was playing it last night. She absolutely adores this game. And she killed a warthog the first time she stumbled across one. She didn't use a bow and arrow. She just threw a bomb at it and exploded the damn thing and then took the meat. I was, uh, well, <laughs> a little bit, not miffed, but what can you say? I felt a little bit stupid. She's seven years old. I'm not. <laughs> and she was showing me how to complete the game. So there we have it. But she has actually played pretty darn far into the game. And I've got to tell you, it is really impressive. I only wish, at this point, I'd known how she got across here. But then, maybe, maybe I can work it out. Let's use the old Sheik Slate. This looks good. A bit of metal here. This is a little bit weird, I've got to be honest. So you can push it, you can pull it. But you can't actually rotate it. It's dead annoying. So you've sort of got to, like... Get it in the relative position you want it in, and then pick it up from the right direction. It's only downside to this little special power. It's magnesis. Or well, maybe there is a way to rotate it, but I certainly haven't worked it out as yet. So let's see if we can put it in place. I don't fancy my chances. Got to be perfectly honest. It's not looking good. That doesn't look like it's going to reach. Am I missing something? Yeah, maybe. Drop it, see what happens. Brilliant. If there, was, there wasn't anything else around here that I could have picked up. No. Definitely just that one thing. Okay. It's a good job these freaking things don't come to life. Nice. I did think there'd be something to be had there. Nice, and an ancient screw. I'm sure they're all going to come in useful at some point. Or maybe it'd just be bump to sell. Right. Let's do this. Don't really fancy falling in there. <laughs> that makes me wonder about that raft as well. But there's a raft sort of way over yonder there. But the water's flowing this way. I'm sure you just end up careering off the end there. Right, so let's sort of... It's on the top of here, I figure. There's not a massive path to follow. Got to tell you though, Link is a pretty darn good climber. But he does run out of stamina quite a lot, so I'm thinking... At some point there must be a way... I mean, there's always a way to up your heart, so there's probably a way to up your stamina at some point as well. I think my daughter's worked it out, but I haven't actually got that far yet. It's worth noting that I haven't actually got off the plateau yet. So if I do do this playthrough further than the plateau, then it's all going to be blind thereafter. And it has been about, well, a few days since I've done these two temples. So this is going to be a little bit newish for me as well. And these other little settlements, buildings, maybe not, it's all just trashed. 
Oh. Oh! Crud. Ha! <laughs> As I say, um, I've done it before, but I kind of forgot what was up here. Oh, I really need some health before I attack those guys. I'm going to eat some fish, I think. Oh! No. <laughs> really? Yes, I do want to eat the fish. And certainly another one. Three health stars is not enough, really. Really got to find out pretty soon how I can up those. I don't need a better weapon. This axe, it's just a woodcutting axe. It's not for, for melee at all. Really slow. It does do, I mean, it doesn't do that much damage either. That's the thing with it. I actually prefer these Boko clubs. I think I'm going to swap over. Nice little weapon. Oh! <laughs> you really hit me down the hill there. Pretty cool. Right, is there any goodies to be had here? Apart from the meat. Evidently not. Two explosive random barrels just sat there. Okay. Still impressed with the graphics of this game. Really impressive. Just the blades of grass everywhere. Just really, really makes it. This cell shading type graphics that they're using. I finally remember what it is. The Kane Mutt Shine. Nice. Sounds like something in Nepal or something. Pretty epic. A nice view from up here as well. Right, let's get in there and get our new power. Let's see what this one brings. We'll skip it, guys. We'll get straight in. Let's do this. A pretty cool way to get into a shrine. Right. Kainamut. Quionis trial. Whatever that is. Really should remember, but there we go. Let's have a little look what we get. Authenticated, nice. Distilling the rune. <laughs> Just a single drop of superpower. Here we go. Oh, yes. So create a pillar of ice from a water source. That's pretty cool. And you can do it in sort of any direction. So obviously from the floor up and there's a waterfall from the side and so forth. A little go at it. And you sort of move it around, put it where you want. And obviously we're going to be putting it right there so we can get up. Good thing about it is you can climb them. I mean, there's one thing I don't get about this. It's sheer ice, but yeah, you can climb it. <laughs> Nevertheless. So, let's see. I think if I just position this... Underneath that, it should do the trick. Yep, good stuff. Good old Zelda puzzles, gotta love them. All right, this is gonna be tough. I wonder if I can actually freeze this thing. Didn't try to freeze it before. And avoid its blooming blast. Nice, didn't get it. Oh no, I just shot it in the air. That's not good. Right, let's get out of here. Bang, not a fan of this bit. I do believe I just failed and ran last time I was here, but let's see if we can take him down. Nice. Oh, flipping thing explodes as well. <laughs> Don't want to be getting hit by those blasts. Not if you can help it. Right, okay. Another little puzzle, so I figure... Uh, depending on which side you want to climb up, I suppose. Let's pop one of those under that. Should do the trick. Nice. Okay. Nice. And we finished it. So we'll get our next soul stone. 
The old fella's on about stealing all four of these off of us. I'm sure it's going to be a bit more useful for something else. Right, we're pretty far from the other one, so let's just take a little look at the map. And I think I might actually... Yeah, I'm going to teleport over there. Let's do that. Okay, so I think we're pretty close to it about now. Just show you his uh, old climbing prowess here. He scales the mountain. I hope he's got enough stamina to get to the top here. He can actually jump up, but as with the swimming, it's going to take off a lot of his stamina, so I might hold back on actually jumping. Come on, Link. You don't want to be falling. And I've cut out most of travelling towards this temple, guys, or this shrine. Because I want to try and put both both shrines on this episode. And maybe, hopefully, get to a point where we get the paraglider. And we're about set to go into the, the vastness of the open world. In fact, I was looking at a couple of other channels that have done playthroughs of this game already. Specifically, K-Wings. Um... And I think they were on about six half an hour episodes at this point. Three hours in of video and gameplay. So we're not doing too bad. I think we're about 50 minutes in here. We should just about make it around the hour mark to get to the plateau. Picked up a couple of new weapons along the way as well. Really like these. I'm not sure if I've used them in the playthrough already. But the old Boko Spear. It's got a nice long range on it. Pretty cool. These things tend to drop nothing. Just the old weapons. Oh, Traveller's Spear. Nice. That's a bit more of an upgrade on it. Right, so let's get on in there then, guys. And get our final special power. And as with the last, I'm a little bit not remembering what it is. So this could be pretty cool. Stasis Trial. So now I remember it's a freezing time special power that I gotta tell you is pretty freaking useful. And also with, you can basically freeze time on objects. And as you freeze time on those objects, you can then also sort of hit it and charge it up. And as that freeze time runs out, it'll release the power that you've hit into the object. You'll see in a moment what I mean. It's a little difficult to explain. So it actually isn't the last power. There is a sixth. It's quite intriguing. Can't quite remember what that one is. Hopefully we'll find out pretty soon. So right, let's just use this for the first time. And this one's going to be all about the timing. Strangely enough, as we freeze time. Nice, you can see the end of the dungeon already. So there's not too much to this one. So it lasts a pretty good time, not a massive amount of time, but the recharge time on it's quite a lot actually. It seems certainly more than the bombs and more than the magnesis. And if I don't do this right, which I almost didn't, I might just dash up here out of the way. Nearly got stuck and not able to get by. Nice, I hadn't seen that before. Let's hope we can pick it up. Nice, an iron sledge hammer. Darn it. <laughs> well, let's drop something that's not that cool. Yeah, a torch for sure. It's a nice, easy way to just drop your weapons. Just chuck them. It's pretty cool. Oh, man, that looks epic. That's got to do some serious damage. Right, so we'll freeze this ball. And when it's frozen, we'll go up and hit it. I'm not sure how many times we're going to hit it. Right, I'm going to move back. It should be enough. Heck yes. Hopefully it'll roll out of the way. Cool. So you charge it up. And then sort of the mass power effect of that. Chucks it out of the way. It's pretty cool. I like that one. You can see that being pretty useful. Looks like you can actually aim where it shoots off to as well. There's an arrow on there. So there must be a few hit from different directions. I guess that's going to become pretty tough and difficult. There we go. The fourth spirit orb. And the final... Shrine complete. Oh. <laughs> the old fella spotted us already. He's after those spirit orbs. There's no letting up. With this, you have now acquired all of the spirit orbs straight in there. Not hello, how are you or anything. Righto. 
Extraordinary. Hmm. That means it's finally time. Link, it is finally time for me to tell you everything, but first... Did he know my name? Did he... Did he mention my name? I don't remember telling him his name. That's a bit odd. This guy knows more than he's letting on for sure. Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines at the endpoints and find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Mate, I'm here right now. <laughs> Just give me the paraglider. There's always something with this old fella. <laughs> We'll take a look, because I've got a pretty good idea where that is, actually. And, yeah, I mean, it's pretty obvious where that is. It's in the middle. It's going to be some sort of area around the Temple of Time, so let's put something funky on it. <laughs> let's, put a, let's put a star there. Okay. To just show you, because I found this as well, while my daughter was playing. Underneath this rock is a chest. So using the new special power... We'll just freeze that. We'll go ahead and hit it a few times. Let's see if we can hit it. Yeah, so it does have an arrow. And it's going to hit it further as well. No, wait. Oh, man, that one's going to fly. No way. Epic. <laughs> I'm sure. Let's see what's in the chest then. A traveler's bow. Nice. But now it's when we get some really hardcore bows. The inventory's full. Are you kidding me? <laughs> right, so why I mess about with the inventory here, guys, to take up or pick up that traveller's bow. I think this is probably going to be a good point to end the episode. I don't think there's going to be enough time to get actually to the old dude, get the paraglider and move on. But for now, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, thanks for watching. Take it easy and bye for now.